I'm originally from Stanford, Connecticut, lived most of my life in the San Francisco Bay Area. And in 2008, my mom became quite ill and my husband and I decided to move back here. I knew a faculty member at UB through the Society of Women Engineers. She told me about the position here, encouraged me to apply, and I, I received the position. The San Francisco Bay Area, of course, is very diverse. And so coming back to Stanford, I wasn't sure what that was going to be like, and I thought I was going to miss it. Then coming to UB, and so many different students and people from different areas. It was wonderful. I felt like I was still in the Bay Area. Very, very comforting to be around people from so many different backgrounds. Five, four, three, two, one. It's been wonderful to be able to take so many different NASA and other opportunities, be able to work with our students here, giving them an opportunity. I mean, back when I was becoming an engineer, we didn't have all these opportunities to work on real projects with a group like NASA. 2017, we became one of the teams that went down for the solar eclipse, and we were one of the 70 teams that got to participate. This past year, we were invited not just to be one of the teams, but to be one of the core NASA teams that developed the technology that all the other schools will use for the 2023 annual eclipse and 2024 solar eclipse. So it's a great opportunity. We're so pleased to be able to be with some of the top NASA people doing this high altitude ballooning project. We just recently received a grant from the Navy to work with unmanned underwater vehicles, including our Explorer submarine. So UB has a one person, one atmosphere submarine. We'll be bringing Explorer back into the water. This will be a great opportunity for our students to learn how to make a vehicle remote controllable. One of the projects that I'm on is our STEM on Wheels mobile lab. We go out to the surrounding areas. We have students and faculty that are on the bus and they teach different types of high-tech activities to the students. The best word to describe her, she's a very caring person. She cares about everybody, whether these are students or faculty or the farewell of the school. So she's a very caring person. In addition, she is a great scholar. She always has the way to make it, make it uh, easy to, for students. And so, I mean, she, she also takes extra time and to help students when, they, when she sees there's a need. If I were to have taken a course with Janie, I think my career path would have been different. Um, I was an English major in my undergraduate years, but again, you know, seeing how she is able to make theoretical concepts accessible, and then through the hands-on experiences that she provides for the students through the many grants that she receives, um, I think I would have been an engineer major. I think it's been a struggle. I think there's still stigma and discouragement sometimes for women to go into engineering. So I think that every gain is wonderful. But I think the biggest thing is girls today don't know that they can't do anything. Where we were told we weren't supposed to do it or we couldn't do it. Young women today don't know that. And they've never heard that story. And I think that's wonderful.